So most of us know by now that Otter AI has been around for a while and it's usually the go-to AI note taker, but in 2025, it might not be the best option for you, specifically if you care about security and team collaboration and just generally having meetings that lead to action. Let's start with the problem. Otter AI is okay. But if you're leading meetings in a team setting or a corporate setting, you're going to need more than just a transcription, more than just something that ChatGPT can do. And let's be honest, there's been a lot of concern about Otter AI's data privacy. If you Google something like Otter's data breach or is Otter safe, you'll find that a lot of those conversations, the transcripts that's been collected has been breached and accessible to third parties that hack the system. So definitely not a good situation. And people are concerned mostly because the data privacy is not there. Otter is not HIPAA compliant and its privacy controls are pretty limited. So I switched to an AI meeting assistant called Fellow, and I'll link to Fellow below if you're interested in trying it out. And I actually wanna talk about why I think Fellow is a better app than Otter AI, but it's more than just a transcribing machine. It is a system or a tool that supports you before, during, and after your meeting, and it's built for security, clarity, and productivity. Okay, so let's talk about what specific features I think really stand out and might be a good reason to move over. First is the big one, and I'm really big on privacy. So for me, privacy and recording controls are huge. So Fellow lets admins set custom rules like recording team syncs, but not HR or board meetings. And you can also pause recordings with one click in real time if sensitive data or a sensitive topic comes up. So if you're in a session, you're in a meeting, and you know that something, let's say somebody says, okay, next on the agenda is something that is really confidential or that if it was recorded, it would become a problem. You're able to pause in real time, which I think is huge. And you're able to decide who's able to see it, what meetings are able to be joined. And if something gets recorded that shouldn't be recorded, you can actually go back to that and redact it from the transcript from the recording completely delete the segment from audio, transcript, and summaries. And if you compare that to Otter, it's either on or it's off, and it's a huge difference, especially when you're dealing with sensitive data kind of issues. The second is enterprise-grade security. If your team handles sensitive data, this kind of protection matters. Fellow is SOC2 Type 2, GDPR, and HIPAA compliant. Plus, what's important to mention is Fellow doesn't use your data to train their AI models. Your content is encrypted, processed, and then deleted. It's built around this idea that your data is yours. And for a meeting assistant, for something that's listening in, you want to have that confidence that even though it's hearing what you're saying or it's literally transcribing what you're saying, that you're able to control where that information goes and not just kind of leave it up to a tech company like Otter to hope for the best and maybe have your information leaked online. The third big standout feature for Fellow for me is pre-meeting support. Before the meeting happens, you can send out and say, here's the attempted agenda. Here's what I want to talk about. Can you guys add in or collaborate on the agenda? So people can go in and say, okay, great. You had this topic. I want to add this topic and I want to use this topic. And when you do that for the meeting that you're about to join, Fellow can use it as a reference point. You don't have to do that, but it can use it as a reference point. So when you're in the meeting, it'll keep track of and categorize where you are in the agenda and if there's action items that fall into those certain categories. And it can even pull context before the meeting. It can pull information from your CRM if you would allow it to. The fourth big feature is in-meeting productivity and support. So during your meeting, which I think is so cool, Fellow will take and transcribe and organize key takeaways, action items, and decisions. So if you're having the kind of the heat of the conversation, if you're in it, and let's say you have a team of four people and no one's taking notes, if you've been on brainstorms before, you know how this goes where you kind of get started and then all of a sudden it's like, everything starts happening. But if no one's taking notes or no one's keeping track of where the brain kind of map is going and what are the action items associated, Fellow will keep track of all of that information for you. It'll create chapters. It'll say, here's what's happening in section one. It'll do timestamps. So it'll say from one minute to five minute, you talked about this. And from five to 10, you talked about this. And then within that, it will take out the action items and say, Ben is responsible for this and person B is responsible for this and person C is responsible for this and we'll take that. And if it's connected to your CRMs, that's or connected to your project tools, that's where things get really cool. And because it integrates with tools like Asana, ClickUp, 
um, HubSpot and Salesforce, they don't just sit in your notes. They actually get added as possible tasks into your project management systems. The fifth tool that I really love is the Ask Fellow or the Assistant app that, or the Assistant tool that they have built into Fellow. Now, I use this tool a lot, mostly because I know when we discuss something, I never actually remember what was decided. And so it, what this tool is, is it's a search functionality you can use to search across Fellow. It'll search across meetings. It'll search across transcripts. It'll find what you're looking for. So you can ask something like, was there ever a decision made on this project? It'll go back, it'll find it. It'll pull up what was said about that and then give you the information you need. It doesn't just spit out all of the information that you're looking for. It summarizes it in a condensed way. So you don't have to really weed through a lot of information to get the point of what you're trying to ask. So if you say, have we reached the goal on this? It'll scan all the information. And if the answer is no, it'll say no. It won't say, you know, according to da 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 da, it just is like, there, here's the answer to your question. And my sixth favorite feature with Fellow is the post meeting follow up actions automatically you would expect that this tool would pop out a summary or would pop out a transcript and it does that but it also gives you all the other information you need about the decisions that were made the action points all the stuff that i talked about before the summaries the chapters all of that stuff but then it becomes shareable with your team so once it's done once it's processed after the meeting and i use this all the time where you get your information you can take that information send it directly to the people that need to know and then integrate it into the tools that you're already working on. So if you're working on ClickUp as an example, you can put all your tasks into that and just kind of make it a seamless process without having to move things around or without having to put a lot of time and effort into the actual admin part of the AI note taker because you don't want to add a tool that adds more work onto your day. So by adding this into your workflow, you condense not only the meeting minutes, but you also condense the time that it takes to kind of project manage on the back end, which I think is really great. And the last feature that I think is a real standout for Fellow is their language support. So Fellow can transcribe languages. I think the latest that I remember that I saw was 99 different languages, which is a lot of the languages. And depending on the languages that are in those meetings, because sometimes they're not all English, it will be able to transcribe whatever languages that you're meeting in and still give you the same output that you have for everything else. And comparatively, Otter, as of now, only does, I think, three, three languages that are supported. So it's a huge difference in that respect. So let's talk about it. Is Otter still the best choice in 2025? In my opinion, no. I think from a security standpoint, I think from a language of support standpoint, I think just from a general feature standpoint, if we're being honest, I think Fellow, that's the app that I'm using. I think is a no brainer. If you're leaving teams, managing sensitive data, or actually wanting a meeting tool that helps you get stuff done without just adding an additional part of the workflow, I think you need to switch to Fellow. If you're interested in trying Fellow, I will link to it below. They do have a seven day free trial, which I think is really beneficial. They actually do have a, fr a f uh, they have a seven day free trial of the premium account, but then you can also use just the free try or the free, the freemium plan. But pricing wise is comparable to any other AI note taker on the market and Fellow actually does a lot more of the project management than any other tool. So I think you're getting more bang for your buck in that respect. So I wanna say thanks to Fellow for partnering with me on this video. If you're looking for a deeper dive into Fellow, check out this video that I made about kind of the general overview of the product and what it can do. And with that, I will see you on the next one.